Judd Heathcote had a profound impact on many lives from his time as a young adult in the Inland Northwest on to Montana, Michigan State and back in Spokane, where he spent the last two decades of his life. The significance of those bonds was evident at his memorial today. Dear friends, we are gathered this day to worship God and give honor to the memory of George Melvin Heathcote, better known to us as Judd. It was a beautiful send off. It was a celebration of a life. I always thought my dad should have been a professional comedian. I mean, he was a great coach, but he would have been a better comedian. And when you talk about Judd, he was just so funny and just the uh, uh, unbelievable sense of humor. They were waiting in the airport and the luggage wasn't coming out fast enough. So Judd disappeared into the back and lo and behold, a few seconds later, here come the luggage on the belt and here come Judd riding the belt. <laughs> When he meets his maker, he will find a way to compete once again. As hard as he pushed us, and as demanding as he was, and as much effort that we put into it, we could not outpace him. He worked harder than anybody. I could write a book, an R-rated book, called Things Judd Said to the Ref. <laughs> when he coached his granddaughters, Hoop Fest team during his retirement years, he was talking strategy to third and third graders, and he got a technical in the game and almost got thrown out. Most liked him, many loved him, but all respected him. He was obviously somebody I looked up to uh, for a long, long time, but, but then we became really good friends, and he was loyal, and he was. Uh, He's always there for you. Nobody was prouder of what Mark did than Judd, you know. Judd had a lasting impact on all he met. Whatever time I have left, I'm dedicating not a season, the rest of my career, to upholding what he built, what he taught me, and what he did for me. And Judd, I love you. And I finally get to say it. Thank you. Yeah, it was just it was perfect. Judd would have Judd would have approved. Gregory Kelser was on Heathcote's 1979 and national championship team. He said about 30 guys from Michigan State traveled to Spokane about a year ago to spend some time with Judd Heathcote. He said the time they had with him made today a little bit easier. And Tom Izzo began today by expressing his appreciation for Mark Few for allowing Heathcote to enjoy basketball without Michigan State after his retirement. Back to you.